further ado, I'm going to move into this music area where we have sound production at level five, uh, HND music production diploma at level six, music performance uh, again at QQI level five, contemporary music performance dip diploma at HND level six, and including a traineeship at HND level six. So, Fran, how are you today? I'm great, Ken. Great to be back again. Thanks very much. Um, I'm going to start my timer now so I can <laughs> hopefully claim you. back a bit of time. So welcome um, to all the potential uh, music uh, students who, who would like to apply to Valley Farmers. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our entry level courses. So we have two strands, one which is the, the focus is on sound production and the other one which is the focus on music performance. Um, we have a little screen grab of the entry requirements. Um, I'm sure you can look at the website for those. I'll talk a little bit more about what type of students we have applying. So on the sound production course, um, we have musicians who would like to learn a little bit um, about how to self-produce and to be able to manage their own productions. And we also have students who are non-musicians who would like to learn more about music in terms of how it works, in terms of how it's arranged, how to compose it, how to produce it and how to mix it. So we have a good range of students across musicians and non-musicians in that course. On the music performance course, again, we'd have um, people who've maybe done music in school. Um, we'd have people who have an interest, who've, who are self-taught, who haven't necessarily done any formal music theory or music classes um, prior to doing a course. So again, a mix there. So beginners and those who have a little bit of experience. The students who'd like to apply are really looking for um, an opportunity to mix with other like-minded musicians and have an opportunity to play together, to learn together and to work in groups and ensembles, okay? That's a little bit about the type of students that we have applying on the one-year um, entry-level course. Now, just a little bit on the, the course structure. Um, both strands have some common modules and um, we see to the left of the screen there and they're to give a sort of overall focus across the, the music industry. Um, the modules tend to try and integrate projects. So, for example, in event production, um, you'd have a little bit of feed in from work experience and also maybe desktop publishing. Um, so we do try as much as possible to sort of integrate those tasks um, and to give you a broad understanding of the area. In each strand, we have some specialist modules. So in the sound production specialist modules, include the following two modules, which are sound engineering and production, a very practical module. So um, we learn to um, deal with sort of a band set up in terms of being able to record them, take those stems away, being able to mix them and so on. The other module is music technology, where the focus is learning about how to use a, a digital audio workstation in terms of being able to sort of produce a piece of music yourself using what we call sort of virtual instruments and maybe self-recorded uh, bits and pieces as well. So um, just looking at all music production. So on the, on the performance uh, specialist modules, uh, there's a very, again, practical modules looking at music performance, where you get an opportunity to work together in groups um, to you know, either play original music, music or else uh, covers. Um, again, a weekly performance schedule and into different groups and looking at that. The other specialist module looks at the very practical nature of music, musical language in terms of um, aural skills, instrumental skills, and also the theory and language of music. And that's an overall view of the course structure. If we can go to the next slide, my timer says 42 seconds. So we'll see what, <laughs> in terms of progression routes. Now, my colleagues will also talk a little about these as well. Um, there's a very good progression route within BCFE. The students who do the FETAC level five um, course, uh, a lot of them go on to do the HND course in contemporary music performance or else the HND in music production. Um, we have had students that have come from RTL to PMC to a HND onto the media degree, and then they've gone on to a master. So there is a fantastic progression route within Valley Farmer there. Some sample course activities. Again, I said group projects are, are very much at the core of the course. Um, you know, as I said, in the sound strand, engineering, recording, mixing bands, DAW music production. There's my timer gone off. And in the performance strand, we have, again, music theory, instrumental skills, arrow skills, and ensemble performance. I'm very happy to meet any prospective students in the breakout room um, in, 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 when my colleagues have finished giving their presentation and happy to answer, answer any questions you might have. Thanks very much, Ken. Thank you so much, Fran.
All right, moving on now to our music produ production diploma, HND level six. Um, hello, Liam, how are you? Hi, Ken, how's all? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, good. Um, so hi, everyone, my name is the um, course coordinator of the HND two-year program uh, level six in music production. Um, so I'm just going to give you an overview of basically what we do over the two years, talk a little bit about what kind of equipment and facilities you'll be using and uh, what the entry requirements are. If you want to move on there again. So the uh, first year units uh, cover uh, the range of, of uh, areas that you might need to get into to get experience in to gain experience in the music production uh, area. Uh, we start off with a recording technology. So you learn how to use the equipment in a recording studio. Um, the Creative Software Techniques Unit covers how to use um, computer software for the purposes of production. Um, professional development is about managing your, or uh, professionally developing yourself as a, a person to succeed in the music industry. Uh, applied Sound Principles is the a unit which uh, gives you an overview of the kind of the physics and the maths and the the how sound works, how sound travels, how to kind of capture it, how, what's the 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 essence of it. Uh, the music industry unit is the more the business end of things, how to learn like, who's who in the industry, who does publishing, how do you manage yourself, how do you put yourself out there on the social media platforms and uh, get people to listen to your music. Uh, marketing promotion links into that as well. Uh, the live sound um, techniques uh, is a unit where you're in basically our custom design venue for one full day every week to uh, do analog, to use, learn how to use a big old school analog recording console. Um, for doing live sound uh, for a band. Uh, so there'll be a band on stage and you'll be at the desk. Um, it's very, very hands-on. And then fundamentals of composition, what it is, it's learning how to compose. So it's, uh, what are the uh, building blocks of uh, com composers and how they learn how to compose music using all of the skills you've uh, gained throughout the year. In year two, then we move on to advanced music production. So it's building on the first year. So you're, you're advancing into more um, serious and more complex ways of production, uh, both in studio and in the box or on your computer. Music systems programming gives you an insight into uh, how to experiment with the technology that's available and create things that are maybe a little bit outside the box. Uh, creative research project is where you research a topic and it's kind of the academic end of things where you, it's the one where you do maybe a little bit more reading and research than others. Um, Composing to a brief, it's where you're you're giving basically given a scenario to compose to. So it might be an advertisement, or it could be a film, or an animation, or a game. Um, so you're you're basically given a scenario, and then you compose music to that medium. Uh, advanced synthesis and processing is about how to shape sound once you once you're working inside in your computer. You know how do you synthesize, or how do you kind of make sound the way you want it to be by manipulating it. Um, so it's so it's heavily in the world of electronic music. Uh, live mixing is similar to the first year live sound um, unit where you're again in a venue, but you're working on a digital console, you're working with second year performers, so the, a band on stage every week, and then you will be doing the sound for that band. Um, so it's a, it, it, again, it's a very full on hands on day in our uh, uh, custom made performance venue. And sound for media products very much links into composing to a brief, so it's, it's again developing sound design and, and developing sound for a specific uh, a range of uh, mediums. So that's the, the, the units that we do over the two years. Uh, the entry requirements are similar to other HNDs. Um, so I won't, you've probably heard them lots of times already. Um, but outside of that, there is a, a portfolio that, that you will need to submit as part of your application. And that's just two pieces of music that you've had some involved in, in the making of. So it doesn't have to be a really, really high quality piece. It's whatever thing you have worked on. It's two examples of your work that you can present that we have a talk about during the interview process. So um, I would welcome all anyone who's interested in, in studying music to, to come and study with us. It's fully, um, it's an extremely practical course that uh, is interacting all, also with all of the other music courses we have in the college. We have lots of performance-based uh, courses uh, that you will be working with those musicians on a day-by-day -day basis, either in the studio or live. Um, all of our teachers, we're all, we all work in the industry, we all freelance, we all record, we perform at festivals. Um, so we're very much in the industry and we look forward to passing on that knowledge to you. Um, so I'd be in the breakout rooms if anyone has a particular question and my email address is also in the slide there. 
So thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Liam. And any of our courses today can be applied for at bcfe.ie on the upper right hand side. Click on apply. Now, moving on to contemporary music performance, HND level six. Hello, Eamon. How are you today? Hi, Ken. How are you? Great. Um, thanks, uh, everyone, for coming. I'm, my name's Eamon Brady, and I'm the program leader for our HND in contemporary music performance, which is a two year uh, higher national diploma. Um, also known as the Rock School, has been around for over 30 years, since 1989, and that's had so much success in that time, and um, far too much for me to even uh, slightly get into in the short time I have with you. Um, but on the next slide, I'm going to um, talk to you a little bit about why you might do this course. So I'd start by saying that the majority of our students, they, they want to be professional musicians. That's their goal, that's their dream. And that's why they're coming to study with us uh, to gain a qualification that might help them along the way um, and to learn in a very practical sense. Um, yeah, they also we get some uh, students who might want to be music teachers in the future and they're, they they're This is a stepping stone um, uh, for that. Um, or maybe you just want to get better at performing itself and invest a bit of time and um, practicing that. And um, you're going to be the type of person that's interested in self-expression, in songwriting, as well as live performance. And ultimately, I describe um, our students as creative individuals, and they want to explore the artistic side of themselves, as well as the music industry, and get ready to present that to the industry when they're finished, and hopefully have a career in it. And um, what are you going to do while you're on the course? Um, well, you can see that the units are on the bottom left of this slide, and I'll be available in the breakout meeting after um, the next uh, talk to uh, if anyone's got any questions on those uh, specific units. Um, but just to say, you're going to learn from music industry professionals, as, as Lean mentioned in the previous talk, um, in a very hands-on and practical way in small class groups. Classes won't be any bigger than 24, um, and for the most part, it's 12 or less as well, depending on what instrument you play and whatnot. Um, you are going to perform throughout your time with us and collaborate with very like-minded individuals. And hopefully at the end of the two years, you'll have found your unique creative voice and, and that's going to be what you're going to sell to the industry on completion. Um, you'll also have, to have the chance to create um, bands like musical ensembles uh, while you're here with those uh, other students and make use of our top of the range recording, broadcast and performance facilities. And you'll rehearse in our fully equipped rehearsal space, which is open seven days a week until 10.30 at night. And you're going to collaborate with students from TV, from film, music production, traditional music, and all other courses across all the creative areas in BCFE. And there's no um, college that's more creative uh, or involved in creative arts than Bali Firma College. And you'll perform in some of Dublin's top live music venues throughout your time here. And hopefully some of you will progress to our in-house BA in media production management, which is a one year uh, degree top up. And um, some of our students do that. Uh, and then we'll go on to masters and in other institutions in, in areas of music. Um, or you'll gain advanced entry, hopefully onto another degree um, in Ireland, another contemporary music performance degree. Um, and some of our students also go to the UK. And um, I'm finally gonna leave you with a, a short 45 second clip of, our, of some of my students performing in the college so you'll get a better sense of what they do. You're gonna hear some of their original songs that they've written as well. So Ken, if you wanna forward on to that, Thank that'd be great. Much. Thanks everybody. Thank much, Raymond. Street light disco, it's 12, 22. Got eight missed calls and I've been loose. The night is young, so are we, yeah. If you choose, put what you burn in the sad Take what they said you will lose I see you in the loom like hell Ain't nobody gonna shut me off Cause I'm floating over my light, yo Ain't nobody so if any of those courses so far, you can apply at bcfe.e um, and we're running a few minutes behind. We're moving on to the next section now, which is um, Irish traditional music performance and traineeship. Uh, in instrument making, repair and maintenance diploma, HND level six. Hello, Paul. How are you today? Great, Ken. Um, thanks very much. Um, 
And hello, everybody. Um, great to be here, and thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll start with a short video showing our students in the, in the workshop um, making instruments. Um, so this, this film was made by one of our very talented second years, um, Fergus Catalan, and it shows the process of making a harp. Thanks, Ken. Um, my, my internet dropped there, so hopefully everyone can hear me. So here are the harps now being played by two of Ireland's finest harpists, uh, Noyan O'Donoghue and Leisha Kenny. Kelly. The instrument making is, is done in conjunction um, with the PB Ellen, and that was the PB Ellen's um, fully functional workshop that we saw there in the video. Very pleased to say that Noreen, uh, the harpist on the left, is now teaching our students how to make the harps. Or sorry, how to play the harps. Um, the course is a HD training ship in Irish traditional music performance, instrument making, and repair, and suitable for musicians and singers of all ages who'd like to improve their practice. So, we have two strands we have performance and we have traineeship. And um, both strands lead to a higher national diploma. On the traineeship, which is the instrument making, there are no fees, and, and the students receive a training allowance. And anybody who's in receipt of a state allowance gets to retain the allowance. And the traineeship continues during the summer months. Our progression, many students will carry on to the BA Honours in Media Production Management here in the college or gain direct entry into the music industry. Again, uh, we've, we've had many students who've had great success. Anytime you see a team running on to Crow Park and the beautiful whistle music is one of our students and teaching and instrument making and repair is another area where our students go into. Um, our students are actually performing in Oris Cronin in Clondalkin uh, on Sunday the 20th of March. So if anybody would like to hear the students perform and meet them, um, it'd be a great place to meet them. Um, and arts administration is also another area that is open of employment, open for our students. So that's the Higher National Diploma in Irish traditional music performance with instrument making. And as I said, if anybody's around on the 20th of March, we'd love to meet you. And I'll be in the breakout room to answer any questions. And I'm sorry, my internet dropped during that. So I hope you got some of what I said. Uh, Thank you again. We did indeed. Thank you very much, Paul.